hi and welcome back to reviews fixes and hacks now you can see i've taken the engine cover off and this is an astra j it's a diesel it's a 1.7 um, and the video is for the purposes of purposes of a subscriber um, she's got some um, faults with the vehicle um, it's juddering cutting out um, between one to five miles per hour um, so it's basically got drivability problems um, in the comments in one of the videos she has mentioned about um, having the codes read and she's got a code which is P0103 and that is directly related to the MAF sensor and the, the reason I'm doing this video is it's easy to explain showing basically um, the actual engine and directly pointing out the various parts to it um, as opposed to just writing um, a comment and trying to um, explain things in that sort of manner now she's got 1.6 petrol um, of the same vehicle Astra J but it's a petrol but however what you need to bear in mind that whether it's a petrol or diesel all vehicles will have a MAF sensor and more of the newer ones um, will also have a MAP sensor. They do not necessarily have to have that if they've already got a MAP, but they all come with a MAP sensor. Now the job of the MAP and the MAP sensor is to measure airflow. So the amount of air that is going into the combustion chambers and the engine uses both these sensors so the air will flow through. It will enter the intake here and go in. So there's two measuring points, two sensors to measure um, the amount of air entering the combustion chamber and what the vehicle does with that information is based on the amount of air it will adjust the fuel through the injectors the amount of fuel that is then going into the vehicle now she's had her head gasket changed now to change the head gasket all of this has to come off so the intake will come off all of these injectors will come out and the head gasket fits just below the upper um, section of the vehicle so the head gasket will so these bolts you can see they will all come off and the head gasket fits flush to that but to access it all of this will come off now if there's a poor connection somewhere before the math sensor then to be honest you wouldn't have these problem any of these drivability problems now you could have a faulty math sensor you could have a um, poor connection anywhere along the pipe work here so anywhere along this pipe work you could have a poor connection check the electrical connections that they're secure not loose on both of these i would say you check that the connections not loose give it a good pull and if you want you could actually take it off give it a good clean and i'll show you what i use to clean any sort of electrical connection with um, and then let it dry and stick it back on um, so that's one of the things you can do but if you did have you know a leak so basically crack within this pipe work, um, it's not um, properly fitted, then what it's measuring here and the amount of air actually excess air entering through this pipe work after the sensors detected the air coming in, that will actually affect your drivability um, because it's both of these sensors that are measuring it. So what this is saying isn't matching with this and that will um, trigger your ECU code and cause your drivability problems. Um, Obviously you could have faulty sensors, but in the first instance, what I would do is check the pipe work. Yeah, so there's no cracks, no damage, it's properly fitted. Clean the electrical connectors. And while you're doing that, I would also advise to take this out. So to take this out, it's not very difficult. Undoing these, pull the pipe work and it comes off. I have got a video that shows that. I will also um, take off the map sensor and just tug it off. And then once you've done that, give it a good blast with, and this is what I use. I got it from Halfords um, because I can just pop to the store and pick it up and it's specifically called electrical contact cleaner. Now what you gotta bear in mind, these are there's an electrical filaments within that. This measures the why it gets hot and based on um, based on the airflow going through it and how much it cools down, this is able to measure um, the amount of air going in. This measures the pressure. Okay, that's why it's called a map sensor, the P sensor for pressure. And this measures the pressure now what you need to do they're both electrical devices get this don't use anything abrasive whatsoever no toothbrush no um, cotton buds nothing and just give it a very good blast with that to clean it once you've done that just leave it in the sun to dry for about 10 minutes and then basically just put it back together 
making sure everything fits correctly. And once you've done that, just give it a go, start it up, um, clear your ECU codes, and then see, take it from there basically. Um, so my initial advice would be give that a go. Make sure you clear your ECU codes. You don't have to. Normally after about 10 minutes, 20 minutes of driving, if the fault's rectified, it will automatically clear itself anyway. But it just happens that it's quicker if you clear, cleared it using um, a cold reader basically. But anyhow, what I would say is that is the first port of call. Give that a go, see how it goes. And like I say, the codes you've got clearly signify airflow problems. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.